Hello all you citizens of the earth, welcome to part two of my all singing, all dancing, all fucking headache inducing look at my DVD collection. Like I said, this is part two and now we're gonna go on to the uh, collectible stuff that I've got to show you. I've got like special editions, you know, with limited editions and all that stuff. Uh, but first thing, and what we're gonna start off with is, is we're gonna take a look at my Fucking great collection of steel books. Yes, I actually got quite a lot of steel books here. And without further ado, I'm just gonna get straight on with it. Uh, the first, so the first steel book I have is the four disc ultimate edition of the Back to the Future trilogy. Obviously, everybody will have heard of these movies. You know, I, I have, and I got this from Cash Converters for just. The amazing price of four ninety nine. So that was pretty decent, even though their steel book's actually a bit not not in the greatest of condition. This is Universal release from two thousand and from two thousand and eight. Experience the complete trilogy and more. So yeah, I don't think you can see very well, but you get a shit ton of bonus features, and there's a fourth disc with extra content on there. So yeah, I'm really chuffed to have this one to just get it for five quid. That was actually quite decent. Oh yeah, so there's Back to Future, Back to Future 2, 3 and the bonus content. And you know what, just for the sake of it, I'm going to take these out and show you the artwork. And hopefully this video doesn't get copyrighted. And I don't think it is going to get copyrighted because I'm talking through it. But ow! I should have hurt myself there for a bit. And there you go, that's what it looks like. Someone's with crudely joined 127 on there. Uh, next one is National Treasure 2 Book of Secrets, the Collector's Edition with Mi with Nicolas Cage with two random PG certificates for some reason, uh, which is a Disney release. It's, it's got DTS on there for some reason, I'm not sure why. Yeah, I don't think you can see very well. The, the camera's not the greatest of qualities. There's like an L on here or something. No, no, there isn't an error. Just sorry about that. Oh uh, yeah, but there's the uh, there's that right there, and there's the two discs. That's disc one. And there's the bonus features. Is there anything on there? No, nothing too interesting. Our uh, next one we have is the definitive edition of Speed with Keanu Reeves. Um, Dennis Hopper and Sandra Bullock. This is actually the first steel book I ever got. Obviously, 20th Century Fox released from 2007. Uh, the original release, I think, was like 2000 or 2001, because obviously these are just re released the original versions. So there's this one, and this too. We'll take a look at this Mexi artwork on the inside. There you go. Uh, next one is the special edition of Cashern. Better than both Matrix sequels put together, a truly stunning masterpiece from the newspaper that ended up shutting down because some fucking idiot hacks into their stuff, I don't know what happened. When a hero falls, a legend will rise. This is a Momentum Pictures release under the Momentum Asia label from 2005. So uh, yeah, um, another one I'm quite sure to have in loads of film I've never really heard of. Uh, but it comes with a very nice booklet. And an advert for other Momentum Towers, the Shaw Brothers collection. And there's this one, this two. Any artwork under here? Well, there's that one, well, that sort of artwork. Oh uh, yeah, in case the music ends, I'll just get, I'll get some different music on just in case. Uh, but anyhow, the next one is Cloverfield. New secrets revealed. Over two hours of exclusive extras. And yeah, the um, I'll just put on Inupendi anyway. But new secrets revealed. Over two hours of exclusive extras. And this is a Paramount release from 2000... 2008. Oh uh, yeah, I've still got the leaflet uh, the thingy on. Also, if you want me to actually go through detail on any of these, then feel free to just... Just feel free to comment in the description below and then I'll make a video doing them in more proper detail. So yeah, so here's the back. 
Oh, and I actually got a message saying Entity Maze followed me, so that's freaking me. He's a good Poker YouTuber, I haven't seen him, check it out. But uh, here's the disc, very shitty grey looking disc. There's disc 1, and disc 2 of the special features, and then that's what the inside looks like. I have got Inupendi from the Lion King 2 on, why don't ask? Oh, is that in right? No, no that's not in right. You know, I'll just have to deal with that after the video's over. But any of the next one is the co another one of my favourites, the Collector's Edition of Frank Millicent City, the recut and extended version, which is the only way you can actually get the recut version here. It is only available on DVD as a steel book. It is also on the Blu-ray as well. This is a Dimension Real Max Home Entertainment release. I'm quite chuffed to have this one. I actually got this for my birthday by the way. Well actually it was meant to come on my birthday but it didn't. So it came like one or two days later. So that was quite quick. Again I'm quite chuffed to have this one. And there's this one. This two. And nothing on the back. Well there's something on the back but not too much. And the final steel book is my most recent one. This is the extend to two disc extended collector's edition of Ridley Scott's American Gangster, inspired by a true story, apparently, which is a universal release from 2007, I think. No, 2008. So it was done the same year as the Back to Future one. Includes over 18 minutes of additional footage not shown in cinemas and an alternate ending plus the original theatrical version. It is not in the best condition, this is actually sort of not really in the best condition, but any of those disc one and then this two and you've got Russell Crowe's character there and you've got Denzel Washington on that side. Anywho, that's it for part two of my DVD collection where I showed off the steel books. I'll be getting on to the collectibles and the other collectible stuff in the next video. Like I said, if you want me to go into proper detail on these, then feel free to comment in below and I'll try and make a video on those soon. So uh, yeah, thank you for watching. I don't want to ramble on forever, which I'm already rambling on right now. So uh, yeah, that's it. See you in the next part.